Hi folks, Frank the Pest Geek here, host of the Pest Geek podcast and owner of Nature Pest, a holistic pest management firm that focuses on organic compliant uh, facilities, integrated pest management, I know that's a mouthful, for residential and commercial environments. Basically, what do we do? We take the same principles that are done in hospitals, hotels, laboratories, uh, basically high level facilities and we bring that to the home or business. This is what we specialize in. And what we're gonna be discussing is holistic pest control, the five most important things that people need to understand in order to get this kind of service to be effective for them. And we're gonna go ahead and get into that right now. All right, so a place to hide. Mosquitoes, uh, rodents, roaches, need places to hide they're experts at it this is what is known as a crack a void in the wall a crack insects that invade homes are predominantly what are known as thigmotactic insects they love to feel their body touching something and going into cracks and crevices this is why a crack and crevice treatment is more effective than a baseboard spray it just takes more time and more work. But if you caulk that and you seal it, the insect can't get behind there. If not, every single month, you got to come in with your crack and crevice device and go through those cracks and crevices, treating them again. Because if a pest makes it in, that's where they're going to want to go. Here's underneath the kitchen. They just remodeled this kitchen. Spend about $30,000 remodeling the kitchen. The contractor left holes behind the wall, left all those cracks. And they're saying, I'm finding roaches in the kitchen. I'm finding roaches. We don't know where they're coming from. Well, they're coming from behind the wall. It's not sealed. The solution there is going under there with a foam sealant and an extension and reaching all the way back there and sealing all that so that the roaches don't find their way in. Because remember, they're finding their way in from outside that structure somewhere. And they're going into dark places, humid places, warm places to hide. If you remove the condition, putting all that bait back there was never, ever, ever gonna solve all that problem. Look at that uh, piece of dry wood that's cut out, that's missing. Roaches are coming in. We found live and dead American roaches under there. German roaches. Biggest mistake pest control people make is they don't go all the way to the back of that cabinet. They don't stick their body in there. Some of them get lazy. You see, they only come in and they spray the baseboards and then they'll put a little bit of gel bait here and there. Never, ever, ever going back to where the roaches are. If you get all that gel bait and you buy a tube of gel bait online and you buy it at domyown.com and you only apply it, to the open areas that you're seeing them outside, but you're not getting behind where they're hiding. You're going to fail every time. It doesn't matter how good anyone claims the product is. Without the right application of that product, it's never going to happen. Where do they like to be? In warm places, dark places. Look, they've been trying to control that roach problem. There are the roach discs, the little roach motels, the, the Max Force. Uh, bait stations and yet full of roaches we had to pull that look at all the cracks around that tile places where they can hide they got the motor of the refrigerator the compressor back there which is warm it has condensation there's water they can live back there and hide and this is why everybody fails they don't move that refrigerator they just simply spray around it well that's not going to work. Look at how many dead roaches there are back there after we've treated. So we got plenty of resources for you to learn about how to actually control these problems. If you go to naturepest.com, I've got a DIY podcast. We've got about 20 episodes on that coming out and we've got more episodes on the way. And we also have a DIY blog that shows you how to actually solve specific problems. Here we can't get, why didn't you recommend any chemicals? Because I carry 30 something chemicals on the truck, products, 
to handle each individual problem. I mean, one problem alone could use up three different chemicals, four chemicals. For instance, dealing with drain flies, you got to use DSV, Nibor-D, and foam. And then outside, if you've got them, you got to spray it with an IGR and maybe a natural essential oil to control it outside. And then come back the following week and repeat it all over again for two to three weeks. So getting into specific pest control problems is going to be very difficult unless we create a blog. We also have the uh, Pest Geek Podcast, which this is an industry podcast for growing and operating a pest control business. This is not for the residents, although I have many, many technical and tactical podcasts, which we get into depth, real depth, on solving difficult problems and solving routine issues that people miss on how to solve it. So if you got the patience and you want to dig through there and you want to get a real, if you're a building manager that says, man, I really got to know this stuff because I'm dealing with so many issues here and the pest control company isn't solving it and I need to know why. This is how you know why. Do you become a professional? There's also on Nature Pest on YouTube. I have a YouTube channel. That YouTube channel has hundreds of videos on actual how to solve most German roach problems, American roach problems, drain fly problems, ant problems. Very, 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 very specific stuff in there. And there's the Pest Geek podcast on YouTube that also has many videos. But again, this is more focused on business development, business growth, and operating a pest control business. So if you're a professional, um, I've got a couple hundred videos in there too. And finally, we're coming up with the Pest Geek Academy where we have certified for continuing education credit courses that we're going to be offering and it's getting populated. Uh, we've got about four or five courses that we want to put in there. And these courses are going to be anywhere between one entire, like the CEU courses are two hours each. So one hour and one hour on something different, you get two CEU hours. The other courses are uh, a new technician training course that has everything a technician needs to know about law, about IPM, about HCS, uh, labels, um, SDSs, and all of these legal things that a technician needs to know before he starts to work. And then we're going to have actual training courses on how to deal with roach problems and ant problems and all kinds of different um, situations. These are real world training situations that we're trying to get into uh, with a lot of this. So there you go. Those are all the resources. And we hope that this has been helpful to you to help you understand how to start tackling and whether you have a competent pest control technician or a pest control company. Uh, if you have and you're looking for a holistic company, we're only in Miami-Dade, Broward, uh, and we're going to be Miami-Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach soon. Um, so mostly South Florida. We're planning to go into Naples and the Keys, but we're only dealing with South Florida. If you need a technician, uh, a, a good IPM company that does holistic pest management, that does eco-friendly pest control, Hey, feel free to drop us a message on Messenger. It's the best way through through Facebook, either on Pest Geek Podcast or on Nature Pest because I get those messages no matter what system I'm on. I'm on five different phones sometimes. I'm on the computer. I'm on the road. Um, I can always get a message there. Um, you can, you know, trying to call us is going to be very difficult because we get so many calls and trying to call everybody back that needs help. But Messenger is the best way. Uh, if you're needing, also, if you go on my, you follow me, Franklin Hernandez, uh, look up Franklin Hernandez Pest Control. Hey, I got hundreds of professionals, thousands. I mean, we got about 3,000 professionals that follow me on there. You, you feel free to drop a question in there and say, hey, I got this problem. I got this insect. Can somebody help me with this? We'd be more than glad to put all of our network at your disposal to help you and help pest control companies that maybe you can't solve the problem. Maybe you need a professional. We can get you a competent person uh, on there that can help you. Hey, I hope this beneficial has been helpful. This is Frank the Pest Geek wishing you a pestacular day.